Good morning, YouTube. On the right, we have a Samsung Galaxy S i9000 running a fast custom ROM. Um, this is Darkey's ROM based on Froro 2.2.1. On the left, we have a fully stock Captivate. This has the newest uh, factory Froyo released by Samsung. It's JL1. Okay, let's go to the market. Oh, I uh, still need to sign into Google here. This is a a brand new fresh install on this Captivate, so we have a clean starting point. So let me sign in and then we'll continue. Okay, let's start with uh, a quadrant comparison. Now this is to show that our uh, i9000 is running much faster with its custom ROM than the stock Captivate with the factory ROM. As you can see uh, on the database writes is where these phones are a little weak. And there our uh, i9000 has moved on and our Captivate is still stuck on that. The i9000 ROM has uh, a different kernel um, which is lag fixed and so that's a big reason why it's faster. The ROM is also optimized for better performance. Um, you can see therefore that it's, uh, it's running far ahead of the stock ROM and uh, we're gonna end up with a higher quadrant score, obviously. Then in this video, I'm gonna use Ryan Zaw's one-click lag fix to show you how it speeds up the Captivate. Okay, so our i9000 is done, and you can see it uh, finished uh, a fair bit ahead of the Captivate, of the stock Captivate. Okay, let's compare scores. So what do we have? We have 1,023 on the Captivate. That's uh, about a little better than what we'd expect to get on a S Galaxy S. Um, it's pretty standard for stock Froyo, 1,023. Our optimized i9000, however, gets a score of 1,571. The first thing we're gonna do is go to the market and look for an app called One Click Lag Fix. There it is, Ryan Zaz OCLF 2.0. Um, so download this app and install it to your phone. Now to use this app, the phone needs to be rooted. Uh, we have a fully stocked phone right now that has not been rooted yet. Okay, our app is installed. Let's open it. Okay, so this says it needs, you need to root your device first. So each of these is a se selection that we can make with this app. As you can see, only the green ones are available to us now, which is check free space. Um, everything else this app does is not available to us. They're all red, they're all locked out. The reason is because our phone is not rooted. So we need to go ahead and root our device. We're gonna root our device today using Super One Click, which is an application that you install to your computer. So the link for this web page on XDA will be below. Uh, you can find the application here. So let's go ahead and download it. Pretty small file to download, 1.4 megs. So let's go ahead and uh, unzip it. Okay, so we've plugged in our phone. Our uh, phone is already, uh, we had debugging installed. So our phone is now mapped to the PC. So let's go ahead and open the application. So there's our application, super one click. Pressed root, and now uh, it does its thing. It's gonna push some files over to the phone. And uh, that's pretty much it. That's gonna root our phone. So it's doing its thing now. It's using um, ADB to, oh, there we go. The root files have been installed. SU is super user. There we go. Your device has been rooted. Excellent. Now we can, uh, well, there's super user on our phone. We are rooted. So I've unplugged the phone now. We're rooted. And now I'm going to open one click lag fix again. So here's our application. Excellent. It's asking for super user request. And now you can see we have some new options that have turned from red to green. The, 
First thing we want to do now is install ext2 tools. So it's doing that. ext tools finished successfully. Now our next step should be enabled, which is one-click lag fix. Nice. Let's uh, see. All these are green now. Perfect. It's looking good. So let's go ahead now and uh, install the one-click lag fix. The lag fix program is now running and it's making changes to the file system. Um, this uh, I've left the partition size at the default of 833 megs. So while it's uh, making changes, uh, it says here this could take a long time, so I am just going to forward through this part. That didn't take too long, only about 30 seconds, and it looks like it's almost uh, finished now. Keep in mind that uh, if you're doing anything to the phone in the future, you can always undo the lag fix. It's a good thing to do. Oh, there we go. System will reboot in five seconds. Finish successfully. So if you're going to uh, do a factory reset on this phone, um, it is important to remember that you should disable this lag fix. It's very easy to do from the menu of the application. Okay, let me get the other phone so we can do a comparison again. Okay, so let's uh, run Quadrant on both devices again. Our Captivate is now on the right, and our i9000 is on the left. Now our Captivate should be faster. Okay, let's see. Oh, you can see right away that the Captivate is starting to inch ahead. Oh, there it's, uh, yep, yeah, it's ahead for sure now. You can see that it's uh, cruising compared to the i9000. We ran this test at the beginning of this video. The i9000 was the one that was winning. So you can see how easy it was to, to speed up the phone. Um, all we did was root it and install that lag fix. Pretty straightforward, pretty easy to do. And you can see the Captivate has already finished. And our i9000 uh, is now looks quite a bit slower. Let's uh, see how they compare. Okay, i9000 is done. Let's compare scores. So we have a similar score with the i9000, but we have a much higher score now with the Captivate. 1591 with the i9000, 2044 with the Captivate. Thank you.